Maybe not. Four-year-old Samuel Fender is pretty excited about his new leg braces. The braces are decorated with cars. Lynn Snyder is excited for a different reason. It's amazing when you can look at a child who hasn't walked and help them walk, but it's also amazing to look in their parents' eyes and share that same joy with them. The owner of Snyder Brace creates orthotic leg and body braces for children. Snyder opened up for business in June. I know my business, I know the orthotic field, but I didn't know business. I was terrified. Terrified she would fail like many startups have. Starting a business is a risky venture. Virgil Woolridge is a University of Missouri Extension business development specialist. Woolridge helped Snyder create a business plan to get a loan. The MU Extension business counselor helped transform Snyder's vision into a reality. Most businesses challenge when making a profit. The profit margin in most businesses, most small businesses, is very, very small. So the only way you can overcome that is by doing good prior planning. Are you popping in there? Workshops and counselors are available all over the state through the Missouri Small Business and Technology Development Centers. Having somebody to lead me around the obstacles and hurdles that, that were present, um, I think made the biggest difference. Very few brace businesses in Missouri cater to children, so Snyder's business is unique. Snyder is doing what she loves by helping children, like Samuel with cerebral palsy, gain a little more freedom. He's always been happy, but now there's a different happiness about him. It's a, it's a deeper joy within him being able to move, and he's not in as much pain. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting. Ms. Carly was born to be a ballerina.